Hi guys. So the campsite I'm stopping at in Bishop's Castle is Foxhall's Castle Camping. Let's go and see what it's like. Well guys, this is the campsite and uh, you have uh, what's called the Shropshire Way, which is a, uh, I presume a long distance footpath, uh, going right through the site. I'm going to head down to the pub now, or to the pubs, and have a beer. So that's the campsite. You can just see the uh, house, which is in the style of a mini castle. Some Victorian gent, I'm sure, built that. Actually, I think it was the 20s or 30s. However, through the gate from the campsite and immediately we're into beautiful rolling hills and I'm going to be heading down here I guess a number of gates to go through but I, as I've already said I'm off to the pub beautiful this how cool is that now, I didn't bring a backpack with me this time, sometimes I do. So I'll remember this now and uh, see, uh, whilst I'm here, I'll uh, get information on the Shropshire Way, just to see where it goes to from and what uh, public transport is available to get back again, because it won't be a loop to here, will it? Okay guys, beers beckoning. So guys, uh, this is the tent field at Foxhall's campsite and just to pan round, uh, got a beautiful field here to camp on. Hello! <laughs> Hello doggy, are you going to be on my video? <laughs> we have a little friend here who's come Holly. to say hello. What is Holly? Is it Holly. It's, a she, it's a she and she's called Holly. <laughs> <laughs> looks, a new yeah, look, oh yeah, it looks like Holly's enjoying her yeah. trip here. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> so that was Holly, the little doggy. Sorry, I had to break away and go and give the doggy cuddles. <laughs> I'm a bit soft with dogs. Don't want one, but I'm a bit soft with dogs. So yeah, that's uh, that's the camping field. Really good. Um, on the high ground there. If it's windy or stormy, it's going to be it's going to blow a hooli with your tent. But there's plenty of uh, dips uh, where it goes down and then levels off a little bit, so you can get shelter. And indeed, on one of the little sort of maps for the site, it shows you the bits that are more sheltered when it is windy, which is really nice. Um, the the farm itself uh, looks very well. It is very eco-friendly. Uh, things like the toilets, uh, well, the toilet block is a standard toilet block with showers. Uh, but the uh, you know the water that flushes is uh, rainwater, and the um, the waste <laughs> hell of a conversation. The waste is uh, composted uh, and used um, on their fields uh, in the area uh, to fertilise. That's a new one. But uh, yeah, so nothing's going to waste. <laughs> the waste, nothing's going to waste. Um, they also have uh, little things like chickens. You can't really see them now, but there's, there's little chicken pens down here. It's a bit sort of eco, eco-friendly site, and um, it just has a nice, uh, nice feel to it. To be honest, uh, already, uh, you know, I've posted some stuff on Facebook. Uh, obviously just saying where I'm at and uh, you know there's two or three people who know the site anyway um, which is really good but I, this is a little gem to be honest and um, I think uh, solo tent motorcycle nine pound uh, a night which is I think very reasonable for a beautiful area um, this is where the uh, most of the camper vans are going on this little field um, so it's separated, but there's paths through. And although it's not open at the moment, it looks like they have a, a food van 
Um, now, whether it's uh, bacon buns in the morning or food at night, I've no idea at the moment, but I shall, uh, I shall find out. Uh, that doesn't look like it's operating at the moment and we're still in COVID restrictions so um, I expect that's the, uh, the reason why. Um, just to pan round, uh, that's the, the house which is like a mock castle and uh, there's some stunning views around. They also have some uh, little lodges um, to uh, to rent that you can hire. They have a little nice recycling place where you can get rid of your bits and pieces. Um, you can have uh, barbecues and fire pits. Um, you just have to use some bricks there. You just have to use uh, something underneath, as as is usual with most campsites. And I think they'll sell you some uh, logs uh, to burn. And there's another field that's uh, I think three, with uh, you should call the touring field. So I presume caravans going into there. Uh, but it is it's a very very nice site. Uh, so guys, this is the uh, shower and toilet block, uh, male, female. And uh, it, it's exactly as you'd expect for a campsite. Clean toilets, clean showers. Um, not much else to say about that, but it, it's got sufficient for the uh, size of the site. And uh, this is like a little uh, games room, uh, information centre, uh, just general area where you can charge your phones, things like that. Uh, dishwashing under cover. It's closed at the moment because of the uh, COVID restrictions, uh, but I guess in another, you know, by the time anybody visits here as a result of this video, it'll be back open again. Yeah, altogether, very, very positive uh, from me, and uh, as you will see. Uh, I've managed to have a chat with the uh, owner of the site, uh, Wendy, and uh, I, I did have a chat with her husband Chris as well, but off camera, and uh, really nice people, uh, genuinely care about the environment. Um, that came across really strongly that whilst this is a business, uh, that they need to operate as a business, um, the huge environmental side that they have uh, is something that they personally have a belief in um, so they do that because they want to do that and I personally think that adds to the uh, the business adds to the flavor of this campsite and um, I really can't uh, recommend it highly enough um, and again within a budget of certainly as a solo traveler with a tent uh, that budget of nine pounds a night. Now that price is a uh, two thousand, and uh, what year are we in? <laughs> Happens when you get old. This, so we're two thousand and twenty-one. So that uh, price. Uh, apparently, Chris was telling me the owner. The, the owner, Chris was telling me that the price has uh, sta stayed static uh, for a few years, and they haven't increased it as a result of COVID. But to be quite honest, you know, uh, although it's only nine pounds, I'd I'd pay I'd pay up to my top budget of twelve pound for this, you know. But I hope they don't, Chris and Wendy don't hear this. <laughs> but I do think it's uh, it's worth it. And then just getting back to the tent again, uh, beautiful location right in the centre of the field. But the field is so big that uh, it, they, they never will fill this field. Um, as you'll see with the uh, the chat I had with Wendy. Okay, guys, huge recommendation from me. But I'm now going to go off and ride my bike. See you now. Hi, guys. Hi. So this is Wendy, who's the uh, owner of the site, the boss. 
And um, Wendy's uh, agreed just to have a little chat with me about the uh, site because, um, as I've mentioned already, uh, I'm already uh, uh, I already really enjoy this site. Uh, it's a lovely feeling, and it's within my sort of price bracket bracket for a solo traveller uh, at nine pounds uh, a night for a solo person, small tent. Yep. So, Wendy, there's more to this place than just a campsite, isn't there? Well, there's lots of accommodation. We have two cabins and a railway carriage that sleeps two people and another two in the pipeline we're working on at the moment. So the railway carriage, is that like a proper old railway carriage that you've yeah. converted yeah. up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we just sort of yeah. muddle our way through doing them up. Yeah, and these here, these are like little lodges, are they? Yeah, yeah. This one sleeps six yeah. and the one over there sleeps eight. I mean, that's pushing it, it's tight. Yeah. It really, yeah. Uh, there's just been a family of four in here and they've ah, had a lovely right, time. Right. So there's lots of space. Yeah. And it's all about the views. It is. And I'll just spin round, actually, Wendy, because the, the views are stunning, aren't they? This yeah. is in the Shropshire Hills, is it? Yeah. This area? yeah. We're 10 yeah. minutes walk from Bishop's Castle. Yep. Which is a small market town. It's got yep. a population of 2,000, but there's a huge catchment area. So. We do have loads of events in town when the COVID's not on. Yeah, of course, yeah. And uh, it's a really interesting, lovely town. Most of our campers actually come from quite local. Oh, do they? Right, yeah, yeah so, lots yeah. of campers from just Shrewsbury, 20 miles away. Yeah. Quite a few from the West Midlands, you know, which is like an hour. Yeah. You know. Uh, so, you, and you have a, a lot of repeat business. I've already spoken to uh, various people who have. It's, it, they come regularly to your yeah, site. Yeah, yeah, no, the people, it, it makes it very easy because yeah. they know where they want to go, they know what they've got to do and yeah. everything else. And it's, um, you're very much thinking of the environment of this site as well, aren't you? Well, that's our little hobby. Yeah. It's, it's really what we, um, me and my husband, Chris, we started it uh, 15 years ago and stop chewing the trees. We we just have to we just have to say hello to what's his name? This is Luna. This is Luna. It's a she, is it? Yeah, she's a Spanish Mastin. So Spanish Mastin. Mastin, yeah. a Spanish Mastin. And she's only about a year old, yeah, is she? Yes, she is. So look at this. <laughs> a year old. This is one big lovely dog. Aren't you? You're lovely, aren't but you? She gets yeah. bored and chews things. <laughs> yeah, still 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 in training, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it's um so really, the uh, environmental side of this site is not to do with business. It's your personal interest. Uh, interest. Yeah, yeah. So, so we've got a yeah. borehole, we've got a well that we get our rainwater. We do rainwater harvesting for our toilets. We've got photovoltaic cells. We've got um, solar panels that heat our shower water. We run a septic tank and we've got a drainage field for our sewage. So it's what we've tried to do is run the campsite with as little outgoings as possible. Well, but that which actually makes good business sense on top of yeah, you know, and it's and it's sort of like being a, a bit of a challenge and yeah. Well, I've I've noticed that uh, you, you know with regards to the, the toilets and the waste collection and things like that and uh, rainwater for the uh, toilets you know, for the flushing yeah. yeah. Uh, but the whole site has that feel of uh, an eco-friendly oh, yeah, site. No, we as soon as we came, we let the hedgerows grow up and yeah. expand. And then we've got in all the fields, we've got areas of meadow and trees planted up. And we, we've, we've done a lot of planting. We've probably planted 3,000 trees since we came. Oh, that's brilliant, is it? Because yeah. uh, Chris, your husband, was saying you just lost one of the big yeah, trees recently. Yeah, two ashes yeah. we've had to take. Well, pollarded. And um, we've got four ashes all together. We're not sure how the other two are faring either. No. But yeah. it's um, it does have a nice feel to it. Um, one thing I noticed also, um, you have the... Uh, like a little food van there, which I, it hasn't been open while I've no, been it's here. It's open next weekend, and it's open on the weekends for breakfast. And my son-in-law and daughter live with us. They live actually live in the house. Yes. Yeah. And they sort of run the the food side of things. The food yeah. and the the bus the business side of the camp. Ah, right. Really. So, yeah, so they run that. So, yeah. so and and they run these cabins. Yeah. And yeah. me and Chris are more like the management maintenance side. Yeah, they're, they're, cleaning, sem they're semi-retired but working full no, time. No retirement. <laughs> we dream of retirement. Yeah. And um, the uh, the big field, which yeah. uh, everybody will have seen because the I filmed field, it, the top yeah. field, um, 
that's it is quite a big field do you have limits or do you just fill it if you, you what know, how we do have you... limits on is our personal limits on our toilets and showers ah yes yeah, yeah. so um we don't like our toilets and showers to be over busy yeah so because we're the ones that clean them yeah so um so you sort of you, you moderate it yeah, according to yeah, what you can yeah there's always clean. lots of room yeah. to camp but sometimes well quite often in the summer and the weekends we're full but that's yeah. full in our so it's not full in the sense that every single inch of that top field is, no, is full of no. tents. There, so. There's always kids and adults playing yeah. cricket, football, flying kites. Yeah. It's a lovely uh, feel to it up there. Yeah, actually. no, it yeah. is. It's, it's lovely to I hear. I guess when it gets windy, if you're right on the, the middle bit where I am at the top, it would get windy. <laughs> yeah, it's very exposed. Yeah. It's got 360 degree views. Oh, oh so. it's stunning. Yeah. I, yeah. But there is, like, because there's another three fields and they're all got their own little. Yeah. Bits that aren't quite so. Well, I, I noticed that on the little map that you have, there's identifying where the less windy yeah. areas are. Yeah, if it yeah, is windy, yeah. but I think uh, for exposed. yeah, for most of the people that f will camp like I do would follow me. Most of them are wild camping as well, so it's uh, you know you you get used to the wind if you need to. It's, uh, it's not the Batten weather, down a little your, bit. Yeah. Clothes, so it? yeah, it's a lovely uh, lovely place and. Uh, the uh, the the little uh, market town is a very oldy world, isn't it? Um, yeah. Bit steep, bit steep. I went down last night for a pint, and it's it, all uphill. On it's the all back. uphill coming back. But <laughs> what I do like is when um, when campsites or businesses say that it's a ten minute walk. Um, often you find it's like a twenty minute walk, really, but it is a genuine ten, ten minute to walk. To the first pub, yeah. Yeah, and it's twenty one minutes of, to the bottom pub. Oh, it is, yeah, yeah, yeah. But but there's a pub <laughs> before honest, then. <laughs> we always recommend start at the bottom <laughs> and work your way back up again. Yeah, up yeah, yeah. And uh, I mean, under these COVID restrictions, some of the places aren't open. But uh, I guess uh, as things get back to normal, it'll be very vibrant, a uh, little uh, town. Yeah. 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 No, it, it, usually there's an event on every weekend yeah. of some description. If there isn't one, people invent one. Oh, do they? All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Music yeah. and. Yeah. Loads going on. And the walk, the walk down to uh, the village, is through it's a, a town. You, a town. Sorry, town. it's a town. It's a market town. Yeah. The walk down to the town is one of the most beautiful walks you could do. Yeah. Through the meadows there, yeah, yeah. and it's called the Golden Drop. The, the Golden Drop. Yeah. Right, right. So I actually, I, I will, I will show that because I have filmed it, and uh, but it's a beautiful walk down. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's really it's a really pleasant area, really pleasant sight. So, Wendy, okay. thank you very much for that. And really? Luna, you've been well behaved, haven't not, you? Not quite. <laughs> oh, in the background, you've been good for a puppy, for a little puppy. You've little been puppy. so well well behaved. Anyway, Wendy, thank you very much thank for that. Thank you. And good luck with the site. I'll be certainly back. And hopefully right. other people will okay, as well. Okay, lovely. Thanks thank a lot. You. Bye now. Bye. So oh, my time's up at uh, Foxhall's Castle Camping at Bishop's Castle. I've had a couple of nights here. You've watched the videos to get to this point. So you know I'm quite enthusiastic about this site. And uh, I've got to say, I've had a little bit of a late sort of start off this morning because I'm simply enjoying the views, the wildlife, the birds, and the coffee but i am partly packed up just got the final inner tent to take down uh, and then i'll be off um, most campsites i've uh, been to i would go back to um, and i've enjoyed all the campsites i've been to um, and I'll always go back to the campsites I've been to at some stage. However, this one, this is outstandingly good. And for a solo uh, rider tent at nine pound, in the outstanding beauty you've got around these uh, Shropshire hills, and the, the riding across uh, Shropshire into Wales, um, the riding's superb. Um, I just have to say, I'm probably going to come back here over the next couple of months. Um, I believe they have a beer festival 
in the uh, town and uh, as long as that's on with this uh, Covid I uh, might just come back for that. Not that I drink very much now. But this site, highly recommend it. I'll be back this year uh, and I really really enjoyed it. Thanks a lot for watching guys. See you soon.